working as an assistant professor in the department of ECE at Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to study about signal generators. What is meant by signal generator? What is the need of signal generator? And what are the different types of signal generators we have? Signal generator is mainly used to maintain the frequency in a stable manner. At the same time to generate different types of signals we are using the signal generator. With the help of signal generator we can generate sine wave, square wave, triangular wave and we can also generate pulse signals, ramp signals. So like this we can generate different types of signals with the help of signal generator. And the basic signal generator consists of mainly two blocks. Those two are first one is oscillator and second one is attenuator. Mainly we have two blocks in the signal generator, oscillator and attenuator. This oscillator block is mainly used to maintain the constant frequency. Right. So to maintain the constant frequency in this oscillator block we have either LC tuned circuit or RC tuned circuit. With the help of LC or RC tuned circuit, we can get a stable frequency. And how to get the stable frequency by using LC or RC tuned circuit means by varying either inductance or capacitance, we get the stable frequency. So, by using this oscillator, we generate a frequency and with the help of attenuator, we set the amplitude levels. So, while designing the oscillator, we have to consider two constraints. One is the accuracy and stability and freedom from the distortion. These are the main conditions while we are designing any oscillator. If you want to design any oscillator, or that oscillator should provide maximum accuracy at the same time stability should also be maximum and there should not be any distortion. Similarly, coming to the attenuator, this attenuator has to attenuate unwanted signal at the same time it will attenuate the input signal based upon the frequency and this is the standard signal generator. In the standard signal generator, mainly it consists of two blocks. One is oscillator block and second one is attenuator block. As we already discussed that the oscillator block consists of either LC or RC tuned circuit. With this by varying L and C, we can get a stable frequency and that generated input signal is given to the attenuator section. With the help of attenuator, we can attenuate the unwanted signal and set the input amplitude, input signal amplitude to a particular level and finally we obtain the output in output section. So, we, this is basic standard sine wave generator. With the help of this signal generator, we can generate sinusoidal signals and the main advantage of this standard signal generator is here we can get the stable frequency whatever we require. And next one is function generator. So, this function generator helps to generate three different types of signals like square wave, triangular wave and sine wave. With the help of single function generator network, we can generate three different types of waves like it can generate square wave or it can also generate triangular wave and finally sine wave. These are the three different types of signals that can be generated by function generator. And the main application of this function generator is it is used in the frequency range 0 0.01 Hz to 100 kHz. We can generate the frequency from 0 0.01 Hz to 100 kHz so that we have a frequency control network. The main blocks present in the function generator are frequency control network, upper current source, lower current source and voltage comparator multivibrator, sine wave shaping circuit, square wave amplifier, sine wave amplifier and integrator. These are the main blocks present in 
function generator as we know that the comparator is mainly used to compare the given two input signals and according to that the comparator will produce the output similarly sine wave shaping circuit sine wave shaping circuit means for example if you got the output like a triangular wave to get the sinusoidal signal or to convert given triangular wave into a sine wave we have to give the triangular wave to a sine wave shaping circuit in this sine wave shaping circuit we are using clippers we know that the clipper will cut some portion of the input signal either at the positive edge or at the negative if if you want to clip the some portion of input signal on both positive and negative edges then it will clip the clip the input signal in both positive and negative edges like that if you shape this one if you use n number of means if you are using a single diode with the help of diode we can clip some portion of the input signal on the positive side similarly if you are using two diodes we can clip both positive and negative portions of the input signal some portion of the input signal similarly as the number of diodes increases then we can cut some portion of input signal both on positive and negative side and finally we get the sinusoidal signal as the output sine wave shaping circuit means it is used to convert given triangular wave into a sine wave with the help of clippers clipper means which consists of a diode so with the help of diode we can cut some portion of the input signal on positive side or negative side sometimes we can use two level clippers with the help of two level clipper we can clip some portion of input signal both on positive and negative edges finally we get the output as sinusoidal signal so sine wave shaping circuit is nothing but clipping circuit we are using similarly square wave amplifier it is used to amplify the square wave input and sine wave amplifier whatever the sine wave we have obtained here that is amplified with the help of sine wave amplifier these are the these are the main blocks present in function generator and the frequency control network can be controlled with the help of constant current source that is present across the frequency control network or the frequency control network can be controlled by using the magnitude of the current with the help of magnitude of current we can control the frequency control network so initially with the help of frequency control network it generate upper constant current source that is in this upper constant current source the positive current that is the current source having positive amplitude that is maintained as constant that is given so as long as we are providing constant current to an integrator network then the integrator produces the rise in the output and it reaches to the maximum value whenever the rise in the output across the integrator reaches to a predetermined level then automatically the constant current source shifted from upper current source to lower current source so whenever we are providing lower current source to an integrator network it produces the output in change in decrement in the output voltage as long as we provide the constant current and whenever the constant current reaches to a predetermined value of a minimum voltage level again the upper current source takes place and that is given as the input to the integrator similarly as long as we apply a constant current to an integrator network the integrator produces the output as rise in the output voltage and that rise reaches to the maximum level which is equal to the predetermined voltage level then automatically lower current source will takes place and the lower current source if you apply a constant lower current source to an integrator then it produces the output as change in output voltage in a decrement manner 
So finally, the output voltage increases and decreases like this with the help of upper current source and lower current source. So we can call this wave as the triangular wave. With the help of integrator, we get the output as the triangular wave. This is triangular wave output. Next, coming to this square wave circuit. So, if the upper current source, the voltage comparator multivibrator output is given as the feedback to the upper current source. Now, always this voltage comparator will compare the two inputs. That is, one of the input is output of the integrator with the upper current source. So, if you compare the voltage comparator multivibrator, always compare the output to output voltage with the help of current source magnitude. When the magnitude of current source is equal to the output across the integrator, then it produces the output as maximum. If the output of the integrator is not equal to the magnitude of the current source, then it produces the output voltage as minimum. Like that, with the help of comparator multivibrator, we get the output as high and low. This high and low output produces the output as square wave. We have voltage comparator multivibrator. Whenever both the inputs of a comparator circuit are same, then the multivibrator shifts its level from low to high or from high to low and finally it produces the output as the square wave. Now, with the help of this voltage comparator multivibrator, we obtain the output voltage as the square wave. Now, coming to the third one, sine wave shaping circuit. For this sine wave shaping circuit also, we are applying the input as the triangular wave. If you apply the triangular wave as the input to the sine wave shaping circuit, with the help of clipper, the sine wave, triangular wave is converted into a sinusoidal signal and that is given to sine wave amplifier. Here also the square wave output is given to the square wave amplifier. With the help of amplifier, the input signal is amplified and then amplified signal will be obtained in the output section. So, we get the square wave output, triangular wave output and sine wave output from the single circuit. So, it is called as function generator. This function generator will generate three different types of outputs as square wave, triangular wave and sine wave. With the help of sine wave shaping circuit, we can convert triangular wave into sine wave and directly from the integrator output, we obtain the triangular wave. Finally, by comparing the integrator output with the current source, we get the output as square wave with the help of comparator multivibrator. This is how we obtain three different outputs with the help of a single circuit. In the first circuit, we are generating basic sinusoidal signal generator. Here the frequency can be controlled with the help of either LC or RC tuned circuit. In the second section, the frequency can be controlled with the help of magnitude of current source. That current source may be a positive current source or negative current source. The magnitude of current source can be controlled with the help of upper current source or lower current source. And third one is A of sine and square wave generator. Similar to the previous circuit, in this sine and square wave generator also we are using wind bridge oscillator. As we know that any function generator, any signal generator mainly consists of oscillator stays and attenuator stays. In this the first stage is oscillator stage. In this oscillator, we are using Wienbridge oscillator. In this Wienbridge oscillator also, by varying L and C tuned network, we get the constant frequency and with this, we can generate a sinusoidal signal and that sinusoidal signal is given to sine wave amplifier. With the help of amplifier, 
we can amplify the input signal and input signal will be strengthened if there exists any noise that noise can be removed by using attenuator or sometimes to attenuate unwanted signal only the required amount of input signal need to be transmitted in that case also we are using this attenuator finally the sine wave output will be obtained here similarly with the help of same wind bridge oscillator the generated sine wave is given to square wave shaper circuit in this square wave shaper circuit the sinusoidal signal is given to the same sinusoidal signal is given to the square wave shaper circuit similar to the similar to triangular to sine wave conversion we can convert sinusoidal signal into a square wave by connecting the sine wave output to a clipper circuit if you want to clip sine wave output at both positive and negative edges with the help of two level clipper then the sine wave output will become a square wave and finally we obtain square wave output if you observe here we are applying the sinusoidal signal to a square wave shaper circuit in this we are using two level clipper so with the help of two level clipper we can clip some portion of input signal on both positive and negative edges then the sine wave will be converted into square wave like this after getting the square wave output the square wave output is given to the square wave amplifier in this square wave amplifier the input signal is amplified to a required level and then that is given to an attenuator section again in this attenuator section the unwanted signals are attenuated only the required amount of input signal is transmitted and finally we obtain the square wave output and the main difference between the first circuit this basic signal generator and third one is here we are generating high frequency signals rf output means we are generating high frequency signal to generate high frequency signal we have to reduce lnc values as long as we reduce inductance and capacitance values the obtained frequency is high similarly to generate af signals that is a of sin and square wave generator here we are generating low frequency signal to generate low frequency or medium frequency signal the l and c value should be large as the values of l and c are large it generates low frequency signals or medium frequency signals these are three different types of signals we have one is sine wave generator and second one is function generator we generate three different types of signals like sine wave triangular wave and square wave and third one is af sine and square wave generator it can also generate both sine and square wave of low frequency in the next session we will discuss about the remaining generators thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates.